this one. It lets you pack out a menu entry. So um, here you can, for example, create a summary folder in the menu and place all your custom windows and processes and everything in it. And then when you pack out this um, summary folder, it will pack out all the menu, menu entries below it. For example, if I would pack out the asset um, module, then it would pack out all these um, summary folders and all the windows and reports and processes within that. You also can use um, the application or module to pack out only one window. For example, if I want to pack out my EVNOS, my new window, then I want to choose EVNOS. EVNOS my window, and it would pack out my window, it would pack out the tables and columns, it would pack out any references which belong to my window. And uh, maybe if I have set a process in my window, then it would also pack up this um, process. And this one, the data um, type, is um, yeah, it's the universal type. With this type, you can pack out everything. For example, you check, um, you enter the AD system table. Here you can enter a select statement. So I want every entry from AD sys config where the um, AD sys config ID is in yeah, one million, one million and one, one million and two, and then it would pack out these three entries. Um, here you have to be careful. You have to um, yeah, write it exactly as in the um, table and column. So um, yeah, you, you need to know the upper and lower cases. Um, I believe this was fixed in IDMPR 2.0, but I noticed that in earlier versions um, it didn't work if you um, have not written this correctly. So just make sure um, you write it correctly and then you won't occur any problems. Yeah, and then when you did this, save it. And the great thing here is you can um, have as many lines as you want. So you can pack out a module, and then you can pack out um, columns uh, or uh, windows, not windows, um, tables which have no window. You can pack out uh, dynamic validations and other stuff. And then when you have um, set up all the package details, you just click on the export button, and then you can download this zip file right here. So um, that's about the pack out. And then when you want to apply the changes on the other system, you use the pack in window, and here you create a new entry and give it a name, whatever you like, for example. And then you click on the attachment button here and load the, uh, the zip file which was just created um, by the packout. And then click the pack in button and pack it in. So you see here there is one uh, entry uh, which I packed out. Um, I can take a look at it, which one it was. So yeah, this is a value, a system configurator value I created which has the ID so, and this one was just packed. So, um, there's also a package maintenance window. And here I have um, the, um, the package I just uh, created, so which is this one. So you see here, this is the name of the package, and here in the pack-in I used another name, but um, here the name of the pack-out is used with the description and installation details, and yeah, you can get some information about it. Um, normally, if you don't use the, the data pack-out but other things, you also get um, the objects which get packed in. And you even have the possibility, um, yeah, normally, to make a rollback. So all the things you packed in get automatically um, deleted. <laughs> I'm not sure why this is not working. But uh, normally, um, yeah, depending on what, what you packed in, uh, it should work. So you can make a, a rollback. Maybe I forgot to activate this feature in my system. But um, don't worry about this. There's also
also another way how you can um, pack and stuff and that's what, what I always like to do um, because when I create functionality for a client then I uh, normally don't only have um, uh, stuff from the application dictionary but I also have um, some code like here for example this is my um, broadcaster feature and I want to show it to you so The second way to pack things in is um, when you download it, the exported um, zip file, then you rename it and call it to pack.zip and place this file in the meta in folder of your of one of your plugins. Uh, if you only have a fragment, then uh, just create a, um, a plugin just for the purpose of packing it in and place the to pack.zip in the meta in folder. Then in the manifest, you um, choose the org rmpr plugin utils and um, rmpr activator or create our own activator which extends this activator and what this does is the rmpr activator has the functionality to um, automatically install a two pack or zip from the meta in folder so if the application starts and you um, start your plugin with the 2-pack zip and the item here activator for the first time then um, this 2-pack automatically gets installed and this is really useful because if your customer has a productive system you can go to the uh, Apache Felix web console and just install the plugin there and when it is started it automatically installs the 2-pack zip and then you get all the um, changes you need directly without doing anything manually. Yeah, and here in my broadcaster um, I have uh, different messages created and um, yeah, some other stuff. So here I get um, yeah, the translated message for the username for example. So this is my uh, broadcaster dashboard panel by the way, it shows you the um, online users and the offline users, you can filter for online and offline users and when you click on uh, a client or a user or an organization like for example, you can send a broadcast message to these users. So yeah, that's um, how you use Tupac. How you can pack in and pack out things. I hope this video helps you, and I'll see you in the next video.